A forested area overlooking the East Tennessee Veterans Cemetery is about to change. Today, the Legacy Parks Foundation announced the construction of the French Broad Veterans Memorial Park. 10 News reporter Krissa Lucas shows us what it will look like. Krissa? Yes, Robin. The plan is to have a place for celebrations, family gatherings, and to honor our East Tennessee veterans. And the project is starting with funding from Knox County and the state. The Legacy Parks Foundation says they have exceeded their goal and have raised $1.3 million for their project. Master Sergeant Leroy Petrie served both in Iraq and in Afghanistan. During one of the battles, a grenade exploded in his hand. I looked down, my pants were soaked in blood all the way to the boots. Mentally, I wanted to stay in the fight, even if I used my last breath to give a radio call that would help my, my guys. Petrie received the nation's highest award for valor in combat in 2011 from President Obama. He hopes this project will bring the community together and provide the chance for veterans to tell their stories. They're all fascinating stories of selfless service, sacrifice, patriotism, citizenship, all these values that we hold dear. The Legacy Parks Foundation announced the construction of the French Broad Veterans Memorial Park today. The plans for the park show a natural setting. Some areas will be landscaped for private gatherings. The executive director of the Legacy Parks Foundation said the lawn will fit about 250 people for events. The most challenging for us is is uh, is fundraising and honestly it, it didn't turn out to be that difficult a challenge because everyone wants to be able to show their support of our veterans. The mayor said this project shows how much we value our veterans but the biggest message came from Petrie. Really take a hard look at what you're blessed with every day. When I wake up in the morning and I open my eyes and I breathe air into my lungs I know I'm blessed with another opportunity to make a difference in other people's lives as well as my own. The land for the park was donated by Blue Water Industries to Legacy Parks Foundation in 2019. And after it's done, Knox County will maintain the park. Back to you, Robin. It's going to be beautiful. Krista, thank you very much.